the Silodyne gets the meds, are cut into strips, packed on pallets and delivered for using on the construction site. Thanks to their different colors, the various types of Silodyne materials are easily recognizable. According with the installation plan, where Silodyne is to be bonded, a chalked line is marked by the carpenters. Now it is time to start bonding the Silodyne. Strips which have been cut to the width of the wall are placed next to the markings in accordance with the installation plan. Structural engineers have already calculated in advance what type of Silodyne should be placed in which area of the structure. The deciding factor in selecting the correct material is the size of the load to be borne in the structure. The layers are cut to the appropriate length and placed exactly next to the marked locations. The cutoffs can be reused in other places, therefore reducing waste to almost nothing. The layers and wall bearing surfaces are now sprayed with the contact adhesive. The jet can be adjusted to the required width. The adhesive is applied with a spray gun. On smaller surfaces, a spray can can also be used. The adhesive should be left to dry a little before bonding. Then the layers are bonded to the marked locations. Pressing lightly is sufficient. It is easy to check whether the silodyne strips are in the right place due to the colored grading of the layers. The ceiling is now fully prepared for the walls of the next story to be erected in their relevant positions. Getzner cost-effective system solutions based on more than 40 years development and project experience.